everyone. It is finally summer, and that means one thing for us around here, mowing. We have about nine acres that we mow every week, and it's a lot of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And a lot of times it seems like it's not accomplishing very much because five, six, seven days later, we're gonna be doing it again. And I can't help but think that that's a lot like our walk with the Lord. Every day we need to spend time in his word, in prayer, in his presence, getting to know him. And a lot of that may feel like just going back and forth, back and forth, not accomplishing very much. But what that does in our spirit, it keeps the path clear. It keeps us clear from the cares of this world. You know, God not, doesn't always relate to us in our mind. He doesn't always relate to us in our emotions, but he's always working in our spirit. And that time with him, may not feel like much is being accomplished, but it's clearing the path for him to have a place in our heart. It's clearing the path of the weeds and the cares of this world that can clog up our emotions. It's clearing that path that he can come in and fellowship with us. Isaiah 43 says, clear the way of the wilderness for the Lord. And that's what we wanna do for him. You know, I've heard it said an inch today is a mile tomorrow. And it's like that in our walk with the Lord. If we let go of an inch today with our time with the Lord, then tomorrow it'll be a mile. If we spend time with him every day and keep that path clear, then it keeps that path clear. And you know, we all lead busy lives. And whether it be time in the morning or time in the evening that you carve out to be with him, whether it be scriptures that you write down on a card and you keep it in your pocket, whether it be five seconds at a stoplight that you just lift up worship to his holy name. We all need to spend time with the Lord every day. He longs for that. He enjoys the time that we give him. Enjoy your walk with the Lord. Be blessed.